What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the A Kind of Guys or AKOG Adidas Ultra Boost. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to StockX for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard of StockX, which I'm sure by now you already have, it's a one-stop shop for all your sneaker buying and selling needs. Seriously, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have gotten this pair into review because I missed out on the first release about a month ago and then this release last weekend. StockX came through, they had my size available, and now I can actually give you guys the full review. Not only did they have my size in the A Kind of Guys Ultra Boost, but they have pretty much every size and pretty much every sneaker. But the best part about StockX is that no matter what sneaker you buy, you're guaranteed that the sneaker you're going to receive is 100% authentic. Not only do I buy sneakers on StockX, but of course I also sell sneakers on StockX. And the reason I do that is because StockX makes it so easy to sell your brand new sneakers. You can list your brand new shoes for the price that you want to get for them, or you can cash out right away and sell them to the highest bidder. Right now, the Kind of Guys Adidas Ultra Boost in a size 9, which of course is my size, is going for $240 on StockX. What I'd like to ask you guys in the comment section down below is whether in the next six months, the value of this sneaker is going to go up or going to go down. I've always found that stuff pretty interesting, so let me know in the comment section down below what you think. And of course, make sure to check out StockX in the link in the description below. So a few weeks ago, the collaboration between Adidas and the store A Kind of Guys, or AKOG, first released. Adidas is continuing the Consortium series on the Ultra Boost, and the cool thing about the Consortium series is that they allow other brands and other people to completely redesign the Ultra Boost. And it's really interesting to see how different brands have redesigned the sneaker over the years. Some people aren't very adventurous and just change the colorway of the sneaker. Other people try new materials on different parts of the sneaker like the cage. And then you've got those awesome out there complete redesigns. And I think it's safe to say that a kind of guys went for one of those complete redesigns. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at the shoe. This is one of the first consortium releases in a long time that's really blown me away. I love this sneaker. Starting off on the sneaker, you've got an almost entirely beige prime knit upper. I don't usually like this beige or tan on shoes, but on this sneaker, it just fits the aesthetic of the sneaker so well. Man, they killed it. They knocked this out of the park. The first pretty big design change that a kind of guys made on this Ultra Boost was this 3D herringbone pattern. This pattern isn't actually a print, it's a real 3D texture that runs all the way around the shoe. Not only that, but the raised areas of the prime knit also have this sort of soft plush texture, whereas the sort of deboss layers are flat. This herringbone texture really makes this upper feel like it has movement, which I think is really, really cool. If the only change they had made was this prime knit texture, I still would have been pretty impressed with the sneaker. Even though you've got this rib texture, the feel and the stretch of the prime knit hasn't changed it's still incredibly comfortable. Moving back on the sneaker, we get to the most eye-catching feature, or lack thereof, and that of course is the omission of the midfoot cage and the addition of these lace loops. The way this lacing system looks is so dope. Like, I can't get over it. It looks so, so good. The way the laces sort of hang loose over the shoe, kind of like how they do on the Pharrell's, I just love that aesthetic, and this really looks like a really cool, sort of almost even Yeezy-esque sort of sneaker. It's got that whole sort of laid-back vibe, which I really dig. The laces come in the same beige as the rest of the upper and are a little bit thinner than regular Ultra Boost laces. As you can tell, the laces sort of weave through these three nylon loops that sort of come out from the bottom of the upper. Now, as absolutely dope as this looks, the laces don't really do too much. They're obviously mainly there for aesthetics. They don't really help with the fit of the shoe. All they kind of do is bunch the middle of the sneaker, which never really does anything. But I don't really care because I wear most of my Ultra Boosts unlaced anyway. Around the top of the tongue, you've got this really nice tan suede accent. In the center of the suede, you've got this leather loop also in tan with Adidas's logo on the left side and a kind of guys' logo on the right side. Of course, you've also got this little consortium eyelet accent, which on the left side is in orange and on the right side is in yellow. Moving inside the shoe, you've got your standard Adidas sock liner in sort of a cream or off-white. The insole of the shoe comes in a soft plush with the whole back half being covered in a suede patch. As for fit, the A Kind of Guys or AKOG Ultra Boost does seem to fit true to size. I would say it fits just like any other Adidas Ultra Boost, so if you've worn Ultra Boost in the past, you pretty much know what you're getting yourself into with these guys. As you can imagine, because the entire upper is primed, it's extremely comfortable. Continuing back on the shoe, you get to a sort of press suede heel counter in a light beige. On the lateral side, you've got A Kind of Guys' logo debossed into the material. If you don't know what it says, it says AKOG Hotel 
group. Moving around to the heel of the sneaker, you get to this light cream canvas panel. And then running through the center of the canvas, you've got this tan pull tab with gray text that says we've done this before. Then moving down the sneaker, you get to your full length Boost midsole, which is incredibly comfortable for lifestyle wear. I would elaborate, but everything that can be said about Boost has already been said about Boost. This is just the standard Boost midsole that's on every other Ultra Boost. Finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you get to another extremely eye-catching feature, this marbled outsole. As usual, the outsole is a webbed continental outsole. The only difference between this outsole and the regular Ultra Boost outsole is this crazy yellow, pink, and white marbling. I think it looks great. I'm glad they put it on the bottom of the shoe so that it's not too much and doesn't overpower the subtle look of the sneaker. Overall, the AKOG, or a kind of guy's Ultra Boost, is probably one of my favorite Ultra Boosts to release in the last couple years. The fact is, they took a huge risk on this collaboration, and in my opinion, it paid off. It's just such a dope looking shoe. I think it looks awesome. If you're looking to grab a pair of these for yourself or even the ultra limited navy version, which I think there's only 200 pairs of, make sure to check out StockX by clicking the link in the description below. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. I'd love to know your thoughts on whether the A Kind of Guys or AKOG Adidas Ultra Boost is going to go up in value or down in value in the next six months. So let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, huge thank you to StockX for supporting the channel. If you guys want to check out StockX for yourself, make sure to do so by clicking the link in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.